Okay. In this second part, what I'm going to explain you is, let's going to put ourselves in the position that we have. Define our study, we have the script, and we have already found a person that has been, have been to the Sol Melia Hotel, and we have spent one hour, or between one, half an hour and one hour with that person, uh, asking and answering questions. We ask the question, the person answers, and so on. So we have a 30-minute video with all the information. Now it's time to think about the transcription. Because at the end, what we need is the transcribed document. That is, our input, we are going to have a software that is called Atlas TI. It's, a, it's not a difficult software. And this software works with primary documents. That is, we need to feed this document to put in different documents, primary documents. We put all these primary documents, we upload this to the program, and we do analysis, different levels of analysis. This is what we are going to do. Our primary documents are basically the interviews, the transcription of the interviews in PDF. I, I recommend to upload it in PDF version. That's it. So is it difficult? Is it easy? It's not difficult. It's not difficult to, to do this. I'm going to explain you a little bit how to record things you need to take into account, others that are less important. But before, before I do this, maybe you think, this Atlas TI, analyzing uh, focus groups, in-depth interviews, this is useless. Well, for instance, when we are doing marketing, qualitative marketing research, another way to do, think what, what, what we are going to do. We are going to analyze the discourse of individuals. So in our case, the discourse is an interview. But there are many studies, qualitative studies, that instead of using interviews, they use, for example, tweets. They do qualitative marketing research of what people say about, about the company online, in Twitter, for example. These are, this is also a discourse. A person writes. There is information there. So we can download all this information, put it in a way that the, comp that the computer can analyze, upload this into Atlas TI, and do the analysis. So there are many ways. It's not just interviews or focus groups. There are many sources of information. As long as they have words, can be analyzed. Mm -hmm. So there are very interesting studies. In our case, we are going to simplify to this. But in the future, if you know how to use the program, you can use it for different things. Also, Atlas TI, apart from analyzing images, videos, sorry, it also analyzes uh, images. For example, we are doing, I'm going to explain you this in some uh, weeks, we are developing a study with uh, some Argentinian uh, universities uh, where we are analyzing advertising campaigns from all over, from Mexico to Argentina, from many countries, uh, regarding one specific topic. And we have used directly the videos of the campaign, not just the translations. So we have analyzed qualitative things of the campaigns of the individuals or many things, the atmosphere they develop. So in advertising, qualitative research is very useful. So what we are going to do, as I told you, uh, is to try to uh, transcribe this information into a document. So. What we are going to do basically in this subject is textual analysis. It's called textual. We are going to analyze text, this course. OK? So, uh, but to analyze this course, we need to record. We need to have the exact words. And to have the exact words, the only way is to record. We can use, record only, for example, audio. But if we record only audio, we are going to miss some information, expressive information from the individual. 
Because sometimes a person can say some words, but he or she can be sarcastic. And this sarcasm cannot be measured by only analyzing words. And this is common. How many times you, we use one sentence when we want to mean the opposite? Mm -hmm. So this is why we, at least in some countries, more than in others. So uh, recording, the recording process is very important. So we need to think about the timing. If we are talking about, for example, it's very easy. Imagine that you are doing interviews with the mobile phone, recording image and sound. With a mobile like mine, that is very bad, this mobile is very bad. Maybe I can do two, three, and in two or three, it's dead because of the memory and so on. So imagine that I don't know that. It can be the battery, it can be the, 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 the memory. I can miss information, lose information. Sometimes you use, for example, uh, programs, software like Zoom or like um, Google Meet, or and in the free version, they allow only to record, for example, 30 minutes. And you don't know that. And you do the interview, and whenever you are watching the video, you see that you have lost a lot of information. And this happened too often. So these things have to be clear before you begin. This is why we do this first, like try this first interview in this practice, for you to try to, to experience these problems. These problems are going to appear. And it's better to, to see these, be, these problems before than after. If we are talking about physical elements, we, if we want to record physical elements, of course, it's not the same if, if we are talking about professional study or a learning context, like if we are. But focus group, for example, if we are doing a focus group, the place must be convenient, must be independent of other places. Because I don't want people to be conditioned by other people going on. So if it's close, better. Uh, vale, esto lo vamos a guardar, sorry. Um, the place. The same happens if we are doing one-to-one -one interview. Imagine that you are doing an interview and you want to do the interview in the Club Social. Maybe for you it's okay because you are hearing the person, you are watching the person, but if you record this, it's going to be crazy. Because I'm going to show you in a while that there is one automatic way to transcribe. There is some software that allow you to transcribe automatically. But to, 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 be, to do a good job, uh, there is only, or we need to minimize the noise. So the place is important. Of course, it's not the same, a focus group for a professional, but we can find a room in a hotel, uh, whatever, than for a learning, uh, a learning uh, study. Mm -hmm. In the learning study, if you want to do one of these, and you are not using, for example, uh, an online focus group or an online uh, in-depth interview, you can, um, you can book. There are some rooms in the university for students. So you can book these rooms in the libraries and you can go with the group there and it's going to be like a place or a good place to do a focus group, for example. Audio recording, the, 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 the audio and video, the better the system, the better is going to be the analysis, of course. But nowadays it's difficult because when I started teaching this, mobile phones were not very good. But nowadays there are mobile phones with a huge quality, not this, this is 150 euros, but you have mobile phones of 1,200, you have, I know you have. So these kind of mobile phones, maybe they are better than a video camera. That's great. In any case, you need to ensure that the quality of the sound and the quality of the image is good. If the group is small and is sitting in a way that you can use only one camera, great. But in the case of uh, older people, elderly people, we needed two cameras. Usually when with one camera, if you have maximum six people, it's enough. If you have a, a, a larger group, you need maybe two cameras. Uh, intangible aspect. You need to think about how to pay to the individual. We are not going to pay in the class. But in the future, if you are going to study, you have to, uh, you have to, um, save some money 
and to plan some money to give it, give them. It can be money or it can be any kind of gift. For instance, maybe you don't want to give money, but you want to give them a present. Uh, I don't know, a 10 euro card, because you don't want to deal with money, 10 euro card of Amazon or any kind of thing. You need to think about that. And the incentive you give to the individuals is directly related to the difficulty. I mean, if we are doing a study in the university for university students and we are flexible, you don't, we don't need to give them a lot. If I want to do a study for, uh, to people that are very busy, very busy, maybe I have to think about a more important compensation. This is something to think about. If we are doing a study, for example, for a hotel or for a restaurant, think about this. I do a study for a restaurant and the restaurant is hiring me. So I can go to the individuals that are sitting in the, in the, in the restaurant, a family, and I ask them, I can ask them and in the middle of their, of their uh, dining, for example. Uh, do, do you want to be part of a study? Yes, okay. Uh, how is the study? It's going to be in another room as soon as you finish, half an hour on the family, whatever. What are you going to give me uh, on return? 50% discount, for example. It's not money, but it's money. There are many ways. You need, we need to be uh, creative in this way. Apart from that, we need to think about the transcription, as I told you, and the analysis. We always need to think about the analysis because sometimes in, in, this, in this class, we are going to do the analysis with Atlas TI. It's software, there are many softwares. This is one of them. Given that we are going to use this and we are going to do, do the analysis in three levels, we need that the interview is full enough, is exhaustive, the quality of, of the transcription is good, and it's going to be, the analysis is going to be automatic. Sometimes the analysis is less complex. So maybe we don't need uh, to have a long interview. The recording shouldn't be very, very exhausted. It depends. But in our case, the transcription is important. And now we are going to talk about the transcription and how to put the information from a video or, or an audio to um, to a, uh, to a, in, a, in a Word document. There are some alternatives. And in this case, I'm going to explain you just some alternatives. I'm sure you are more intelligent than me, that you have more resources than me. This is just some alternative. If you feel more comfortable doing this task with another tool you find somewhere, great. The only thing you need to do is, is to report it. I have used this tool and have done it in this way. The rest, for example, um, Word has a, a, the new versions of Word, the, the, the latest versions. I have a, one button that is called Dictate. Dictate is used, or it, is, it was aimed at people that uh, couldn't write or didn't want to write. I know you are used to write, Males or whatever, but there are people that doesn't, that doesn't like or cannot. There are many reasons why they can't. So um, what have an alternative that is called, or a button or, or a command that is called dictate that allows to dictate with the voice what you want to write. At the beginning, in the first versions, the quality of the transcription was poor. Nowadays, you know, with uh, 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 artificial intelligence and so on, the quality is is improving a lot. So one, one thing, this, I use this a lot. When I have an interview, what I do is to record it as easy as that, to record it with my, uh, to uh, put the video in my mobile phone, open Word, click dictate, put the mobile phone next to the microphone, and the rest is done. And what I do is I try not to speak, because if I speak, it mixes. As easy as that. What the, the uh, Word Dictate does is to put the text all together. Word Dictate doesn't understand dots, uh, if this person is one person or another. Imagine we have an interview and we have the interviewer and the interviewee. One is a man and the other one is a woman. 
the, 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 the software doesn't. It writes all uh, continue. So what we have to do after is, first of all, to check, because it's not perfect. There are going to be some problems to check, re hear or view the video to check if it's everything, everything is okay and identify. This was question one, interviewer. Answer one, interview. And to organize the work in such a way that uh, you can we can use this information. Another alternative is a 360 converter. This is a this is a, a company that you have to pay to use the service. And you have it changes but you have some minutes for free. Imagine you have 20 minutes for free. You can upload here videos, audio, the speech, YouTube videos, whatever. And imagine you have 20, 20 minutes. If you find any software of this that allow you only to upload videos of 20 minutes and your interview is 30 minutes, what you can do is to split. To take the video and say 50, 50. Both below 20 minutes is going to do it. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, you are going to have two word document. You put them all together. Another alternative. Um, and this is what you're going to have. As I told you, a text, a long text, all te text all together. So you, what you have to do is to find your script, the questions, and say, this is question one. This is the part of the interviewer title. The question, question one, answer one. Question two, go organize the text in this way, as you see. Question, answer, question, answer. It's not difficult. Interesting. In the title, you can put the date, for example, woman, 38 years old, the I don't know, University of Alicante, if it's the place where you have gathered information, uh, Monday, 16 at 9 p.m. Give some information of the interview afterwards, all the interview. And this is going to be one, this is a, the interview to a, of a manager of a hotel, an actual interview, a real interview. So as you see, it's all right. So if we have to do, for example, six in-depth interviews, we are going to have six documents, one for the first, one for the second. As you see, it's very easy if we are talking about an in-depth interview, because we are going to have question, one answer, question, one answer. But in a focus group, it's going to be more difficult, because if you have six people in the focus group, we are going to have one question, and we are going to have first answer of the first individual of the second, of the third, of the fourth. We are still, uh, we still have to decide how many we are going to do, but with Carla, but I, I think it was, it's go, it was going to be the, the final task for the subject. It was going to be one focus group and two in the picture, not many. Without taking into account the first one that we are going to do to play. And this is, you, you, you have to do this throughout the course, it's not for now, okay? So this is the idea. Transcription is important. My recommendation is that, is that you use any kind of software to do some part automatic, it saves time, and afterwards to check with the mobile phone and to check if everything is okay, not. It's not difficult. Why? If we are talking about Hotel Grand Sol, uh, you can find per people, on the street, if you have to do two interviews, it's not that much. But if you, if you, you can find students that have been to the hotel, mm -hmm. hotel, restaurant, whatever. And you can do, my recommendation is that if you can use online interviews or online focus group, it's better. Because the quality of sound is going to be better. People are going to be at home in a quiet place, uh, calm. If you need to use an alternative way, no problem. Any kind of um, um, context is okay, but I think it's easier if you we use uh, online. And that's it. This is what are you going to do uh, in this practice? As I told you, choose, for example, in-depth interview, explain the steps, create a script, 
record a 30, at least 30 minute interview and transcribe the interview. 27 of February, deadline. Okay. That's it. Easy, difficult. Well, you are a group of people. You can divide the task and work together. It's not difficult, it's not difficult. Of course, try to do your best. We are, as, as I told you, practical uh, sessions are going to be recorded 0, 0, uh, rated 0, 0, 0.5 and 1. And if you try to do mo most of the things, they shouldn't be perfect. I'm going to be one to all the, of the groups. The only groups that are not going to have the one is that are those that don't do the tasks. Mm -hmm. It can be perfect or not. We are not here to assess you in these practical sessions. I'm here to see what are you doing to give you some feedback. The assessment is going to be at the end of the semester. So if you don't do a very good job at the beginning, at the end, you are going to do a good job. And this is the one that I'm going to assess. Okay? okay. Thank you. If you have any question, we can...